So guys, where were we? To the first uh, campaign, William Wallace, the learning campaign. We got uh, we we'll, we gotta do the mission six, Fortune of Alliance. Our coffers were depleted at the Battle of Stirling, so we need to strengthen our economy once again before pushing south into lands held by the English. We need to construct the market and establish trade routes to the villages of friendly clans. Local legends speak of three sacred relics hidden south of Stirling. Acquiring these artifacts for Wallace's army will be a great boost to Scottish morale. Alright guys, let's move on. Let's see what we gotta do. Capture three relics and garrison them in your mon mon monastery. Okay, well the army has been rallied by recent victories against the English. The situation is starting to look up. Did you know that there are three different modes for the minimap in the lower right corner of the screen? Mm -hmm. You can show only military units or only resources, trade units, by clicking the buttons just below and to the right of the minimap. It will help the morale of our army to collect holy relics and place them in a monastery. One of the relics is close to your town. An ally has another relic. The English have captured Good! You have a relic. Protect the relic in the monastery by right clicking the monastery. You can retrieve a relic by clicking a monk and right clicking the relic. Monks have other abilities as well. They can heal your injured soldiers or those of your allies. They can also attempt to convert enemy soldiers to join your arm. Perfect. You now have one relic garrison. Relics garrisoned in your monastery will slowly add gold to your stockpile. Alright guys, that's very good to know. I'm scouting... Uh, are a good source of food once you've exhausted forage bushes and animals. Farms are built like buildings and must be periodically rebuilt. To gather food from a farm, click a villager, then right click a farm. You've reached your ally's town. Go inside and see how his city's doing. Your ally's gate will open automatically for you. Welcome. If you've come for the relic, you can find it on the hill to the northeast of our town. Oh look, he's helping me. He's helping me find the relic. Northeast, I'm gonna send the Prius. Okay, he said northeast of the town. What's east? What's in west? Okay, block. It's nice to have allies on the map. Your ally, the yellow flyer, can help you fight the enemy. You can also trade with your allies. Uh, to trade, you'll need to build a park. Where the hell is on oh, the hill? Okay, there it is, guys. Mission accomplished. Okay, they want us to trade with the ally. So we gotta build a market. Okay, the priest almost got uh, the rally. So that's east. East is to the left. Okay. Who said games cannot be um, filled with knowledge? Okay, it looks like red is our enemy. So we're gonna have some uh, work to do against him. We are being protected by the river. Have a market. The market can create trade cards to generate extra gold. You 
can also exchange one resource for another at the market for a small tier. Click the market, then click sell food for gold. Yeah, I don't wanna sell anything for gold. But fine, if they insist. The English are attacking our town. Can you attribute any spare food or gold to us? Thanks for the resources. If you have any spare soldiers, come to our town and let's drive the English out. To tribute your ally, click the diplomacy button in the upper right corner of your screen. Give your ally some food and gold, but don't give him everything you own. Okay, he is yellow. So I'm gonna give him food. And gold, okay. Is he fine with it? After we research cartography, we'll, we'll be able to see what's going on. Okay guys, it's crystal clear, we gotta help our ally. 800 food. Villagers and soldiers normally appear outside of the building that created them. You can have your units move to a spot once they're created by using gather points. To set a gather point for infantry, click your barracks, click set gather point, then click where on the map you want your infantry to gather. I don't think we can defeat them with this army. We need more. tree button in the upper right corner of the screen to see the tree for your civilization upper right corner technology tree this is my technology tree guys long swordman two-handed swordman champion oh, okay if you're getting ready to attack the English I can help you out here take this food and wood Okay, so I got some food and some wood. But I want to go to... Actually, okay. going to upgrade them a little bit. I'm not going to go to the third age though, or I might. My ally is really in trouble. What a coward I must look like.
Okay, I think we have enough. That cavalry is really good against my archers. With two hits, uh, my archers are down. Well, now I can say that I saved my uh, my beloved ally. Production must be increased, guys. And I built um, the lumber camp a bit closer to the woods. This way, they will be more um, efficient. Okay, let's make some pikemen as well because the pikemen are good against cav. Yeah, and why not some skirmishers? Stuff with these people. One, two, three, and four. That's good. So we must find the third relic, and I'm pretty much sure the third relic belongs to to my enemy. We can trade, right? 150 gold. Well, let's do it for the sake of trading. Eight hundred foot and 200 gold. We got it, guys. We're going to Castle Age now. It's never bad to have some guys gather stone. You made a trade card. If you click the trade card on your allies market, you can make extra gold. The trade card will automatically make trips between your and your allies market. I got two relics which generate uh, gold constantly for me. I'm gonna say that's pretty good. We might be reaching a unit limit here. Come on, Castle Age. And I can even go to the Imperial Age. Nice. Mm. 
And now I've got access to cavalry. Well. That's actually really good. I can make a tau center for which I need a lot of wood. gold population limit reached still I'm building houses here okay I think they are keeping my population limit to 75 so that will make me think twice before attacking or something Some of my men even got inside. Not enough wood, huh? Fine, come over here. I've got some healing job to do. Gotta get the priest. Monk is dealing the healing job. Come inside. Let's see what you've got for me. I think I can make catapults at this point, but. It's alright. He and my army marches inside his town. Where is the relic? It's all I want. That was my mission in the first place. Let's scout the area. Let's see what red got. Here. 
The town center also shoots because it has units um, stored in it. Do you have like two town centers? He might have. No. And dying victorious, guys. Let's see the whole map in all its glory. Oh, okay, he didn't have any any of that. Okay, here I stop. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button. And also check out my official sponsor g2way.com. If you plan to buy anything from them, use the SHD code to get 3% cash back, guys. The link is in the description. Thank you. With the three relics now locked away safely in Scottish churches, men murmur that we are blessed by the heavens. Our army now stands a chance as we prepare for the final clash with the English. Scotland now has archers, and knights of our own with which to meet Longshanks. We march south, to Falkirk, where we will rendezvous with the army of William Wallace, and plan our combined attack upon the English castle. <laughs>